Hello friends! So today's video I'm very very excited because today I get a phone call and the phone call was from a woman who bought a house close to my house and I guess two or three years ago um, there were a lot of sheep in her garden so she has a very big field next to her garden so they were not actually in the garden of course but on the field on the grass field and I asked um, if the sheep are always there or if I can put my two sheep um, to the other sheep too because um, at this time I had only two sheep and um, my garden is enough for the summer but not really for autumn, spring and winter. So yeah, I have to feed the two sheep a lot of hay. So it should be nice if I have more um, yeah, more grass for the sheep. But they said no, there's already a man who keep a ho who kept yes, who kept um their sheep no his sheep there. <laughs> oh, sorry, my English. <laughs> but um yeah, it's it was not possible. So back to the phone call today. So the woman said now if I want I can put now my sheep on her grass field because um they bought the house new. Oh the neighbors from the dogs. And I'm very, very excited because it's a very, very huge field and now it's totally enough for the whole year. And I have only two sheep, so I'm very, very happy. And now it's time to get maybe more sheep. <laughs> I don't know. So I was thinking this year I can't have really my sheep in my garden because now if you're looking behind me i have a lot of plants for growing vegetables and here there's a small little forest in my garden so i have to cut down all the trees and behind me i want um to make a grass field here but they are not really grass growing so there are a lot of nettles and other things um inside the ground so not really something delicious for my sheep so i was thinking now this year i have to put there a lot more work in my garden to get my two sheep back but now it seems that they are standing very um how are you saying very close to my house and if this is really possible and i can get the grass field i can milk my sheep every day of course it's it's a lot of work i have to go there in the morning and again in the night to um take the the milk but I totally want to do it. So I want to make cheese and drink the milk and I'm very excited. And it seems really that now from this one phone call, everything is possible since this year. So my big dream was to grow my vegetables, to have my chicken and to have my sheep. Of course, I like to have honeybee again, but at this moment, I don't really have time for the honeybees. So if everything is working and everything is coming to uh, so um yeah the whole dream is coming to i can get honeybees in f in the fall again because i have all the stuff and the knowledge how i can do with this i did it now for the last five years but this year i was thinking okay first doing a break and make everything ready for the plants that i have and i didn't know it but the vegetables takes a lot of time so it's incredible so the chickens nearly don't take any time it's now five minutes in the morning to give them water and food and then in the night a little bit food they have already water most of the time they only need one once a day water and yeah it's maybe 10 minutes every day and then uh, once a week i clean the sheet house uh, the well, no, the, sheet house. <laughs> the chicken house it's a chicken coop i hope i think i um wrote some comments um uh, i read some comments it's a coop chicken coop yeah so i'm very very excited um about the grass field so i want to visit the grass field saturday and uh yeah then i'm taking my sheep and put them there I don't know so hopefully it is working for now um i didn't know again where my well is so the man wasn't here today i don't know really what's happened maybe the company is too busy with other things it's not important to find a well because i have water and 
there's not a really a problem at the moment but yeah for me i really want to know where it is but okay waiting again and behind me so this is the reason why i'm standing here you see some carpet i hope this is the right name um i'm going a little bit closer to it so here you can see the ground if i'm going closer i have all this one's in the ground and here and here's another one and it's not really grass so i have some grass through it but if i'm cutting off all the nettles and the other things it is not really enough for feeding the um the sheep so my plan is to put there some carpet on it and the carpet is getting wet because hopefully it will rain more and I want to put there a small little um, soil on it so that the bad stuff is hopefully getting um, getting away or just not really growing anymore. And then I want there um, to put some corn, sweet corn it, on it. I really like to have campfire in my garden. Are you calling it campfire if you have just a small little fire in your garden? I don't know. So I really like it and then to make the fresh sweet corn on it with um, butter. So this is my favorite in, now it's in August, I think, in August you can eat them. Yeah, so my plan is to make here behind me a field with sweet corn. So um, my ground has a lot of stickstoff. Um, I don't know, dioxide. I don't know really what, what the English name is, sorry. So yeah, so the nettles, it's a good um, plant that... Oh, it was a branch. So the nettles, it's a good plant that you have a lot of stickstoff in your ground and um, a lot of um, vegetables need this for growing. So um, I had chicken here and sheep on this ground before, two years before now. And they're pooping a lot on the ground, so it's now too much for the ground to handle it. So this may be the reason why the grass is not growing so good. So if I'm growing no vegetables behind me, they are taking all out of the stickstoff. So I put the translation down in the comments. And then I hopefully have very good soil um, through the winter and I can start growing grass next spring so that the uh, sheep have enough grass next summer yeah so yeah this is the plan i'm not sure what i should do behind me with it this was the old chicken coop um it needs a new roof and you see so it's looking very bad there it was the same here but i made already the grass and the nettles away but yeah still um, it needs a lot of work but yeah, these are the exciting news today. So the cheap, um, the grass field, I'm very, very happy about it. So I really have to think if I can buy maybe one or two sheep more because two sheep um, are not really so much. No, we will see. But yeah, so this are the news. Oh yeah, and behind me, I can show it to you too. Here I uh, made some new wooden waste beds. I put there some leftover kale inside. I don't really know what I should put inside this too. And over there then it needs new soil, but I'm out of soil. But you can buy new soil again, so I'm very happy about this. So the next maybe two or three days I get new soil, so I can put there some new soil on it. But yeah, this are just a little bit for leftover. So I had old seeds that um, I put, um, out in the ground and uh, not in the ground in the soil in my basement and they start growing i didn't expect it really but yeah so i have some plants are a little bit too much i don't want to sew them away and i have the space so i was thinking okay make a new one <laughs> yeah and that's it for today um in the morning i was a little bit trail running because I gained some weight. <laughs> you can't really imagine because I'm most of the time um, the whole day in my garden and working here, but I'm not really running or hiking. So yeah, and my body is thinking, oh, we, um, you're not doing so much, so you can't burn calories or stuff like this. 
My plan is now to do a trail run um, every day for the next seven days and see what my body's doing with it. Yeah, <laughs> so that's the plan. I wish you a wonderful day and we see each other tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>